The tech hunters were more than happy to take Tuyo's money and rebuild more structures outside of the way station. The place was slowly growing and the improvements could be seen everywhere. Tuyo wanted to make sure that his money was well spent, that the buildings were built tough, capable of withstanding the weather pressure and also any possible attacks. For there were a lot of attacks on this way station. The bodies were piling outside and it was starting to smell a bit. A growing place like that also attracted some unsavory individuals who scavenged the bodies not only for their weapons and gear but also body parts. But Tsuyo was not bothered by details like that. It was time to see if they could do some farming out here in the desert. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kenshi. Welcome back to Sunrise Invasion and the story of Tsuyo. As mentioned, we have our way station growing up a bit. We have a new house over here that we're gonna purchase 12,800. Boom, it is now ours. And then there's uh, a couple more housings over here. We have this small shack. And there is this swamp shack over here that I also built for sale. And the tech hunters were smart enough to build this ramp over here that they can use to quickly go down and up over here if they need, you know, some assistance back here fighting whatever there is to fight. Of course, that means that other people can up, actually get up here as well faster, but that's, you know, that's details. Anyway, what we want to do today is finally do some farming. And now we do have the ability, I think it's under farming. Yes, we have the moisture collector, that thing has been researched. As you can see, it costs us three copper alloy plates and one electrical component. It uses five power. These are the basic ones, you can then upgrade them later on as well. And let's build them out here on the roof maybe. Let's start with... Well, I'd like to build two. I do not know if we have enough uh, materials for two, but I'll queue up two for now. There you go. And we do know that we have electrical components, that's that. I have been buying some of these and in fact we do have exactly enough copper alloy plates for two, which is awesome. So we can start building that. Of course, as these things are getting built, we will also need to store the food somewhere. So that's gonna be under farming as well. Water tank. Okay, let's put the water tank maybe down below because I wanna I want to keep the roof empty so we can put more moisture collectors out there. Boom. Let's put this bad boy over here so we'll be able to produce water. Now that thing produces water very slowly. The next uh, one that we can upgrade, I wonder if we have the research for that. That was under industry, I think. Uh, that's water tankers. I don't know if you can upgrade them yet. It's the rain collector, that's the wrong one. Oh, actually, oh, it was here. Moisture farming 2. Okay, so we need 10 books. We're definitely gonna unlock this. As you can see, we're also un slowly unlocking hydroponics. And when we do that, then we can do hydroponic cotton. Takes two ancient science books. Let's see how many do we actually have. We have three, so we basically we can afford one hydroponic thing. The question is, do we go for food first? Or do we go for like something like witch straw? Or do we go for resources? I think we might need food. We could bake bread using the hydroponic wheat straw. I'm actually gonna unlock this. And we're gonna need more ancient science books eventually to unlock even more stuff. Mechanical hive are still the ones causing the issue over here. I don't know why tech hunters and hivers hate each other, but they've definitely done something out here. And now the hivers are being wrecked. This lady is still naked. I have no idea who took her stuff. I wonder if somebody enslaved her or something like that. But she's been she's been around. She's been around for ages. Just fighting. Just being a badass. <laughs> a naked badass. Oh, you know, this this tent is here. And as I said, there's some, there's some things lying around, I don't know, we don't know who left this over here, but maybe one day we'll learn. But this is a scary tent that has grown up up here, you know? And there we go, we have the moisture collectors, you can see, they're very slow. They're very slow, but they are pretty much the only thing we can uh, get over here. 
Giver is up to 50 Weaponsmith now. He could actually make Mark 1 weapons. If, of course, we upgraded this. We are, of course, not upgrading this. And the main reason for not doing that is because that would mean that we'll have to use fabrics over here as well. And we definitely do want to avoid that. So, Giver, you keep on, keep on working over there. And keep on leveling up. Now, let's see, slow line, what do you have? Refitted blade? You know, slow line, I have noticed that there's this pole arm over here. And since you've been guarding this old man nicely over here, grab that. And we have a Ronin Talons as well. Who wants the Ronin Tal Talons weapon? Let's take a look. You guys have solid weapons. That is old refitted blade. Let's switch this one. And we have a Mark 1 Battle Hole as well here. Hi. Battle Hole for Folia. Good. And that's refitted blade. You have old refitted blade. That's a staff. What do the way station guys have? Luna's got that. Uh, giver. I mean, giver, you, you're working on that, so you're, you don't get to have that right now. Let's switch maybe. Grandma? Yeah, Grandma, let's drop this in here and let's get you Ronin Talons. So, Grandma, where's your heal kits? You're supposed to be our healer. And you don't even have a heal kit. Disappointing. Yeah, I think it's time we acquire this small shack as well. Yoink it. Gnu is already uh, being a protector over there. Already chilling. Let's see what we have in here. Now, this fence is probably going to have to go away, unfortunately. Who is out there? Mechano mechanical hive. That's fine. We still need to do some fighting today. That's that's okay. All right, Sagara. We're now nicely neighbors over here. I was thinking we're going to need some looms happening soon. And to save on power, I think we might do... Well, actually, we don't know yet what we're going to do. Are we going to do a hemp? Are we going to do a gavi? I'm not sure which one we're going to go for, because hemp, we all know it's faster than cotton. But also, I see for agave over here, it says it's 33% faster than production of cotton. I don't know how much that actually is, you know, 33 and how much is hemp. I don't know the difference. What we can actually do with this one, though, is how about we build some battery banks in here. Because this place do not have battery banks, or does not have battery banks. So if we stick a couple back here, we could provide this place with some power. Yes, let's do that. And we have plenty of... Did you just go over here and take stuff off of this guy? You should have, though. You can go build with that cigar. Haha, <laughs> nice. That's, that's perfect, actually. Did you... Would you... Oh... Okay, that's interesting. It's an interesting choice. You guys are allowed to go inside, you know that, right? Let's do Control shift f 11 just to see if this is gonna... Uh, fix some issues. You know, just run in here, buddy. I wanna see why people don't wanna run in here. Like, it's per perfectly fine. You can just run in here and build. Yet people did refuse to do that on the other side. Everybody adding materials. Probably everybody took some... Uh, Components and iron plates from <laughs> that place once again. Yes, I've heard you guys on hey Don't have everybody on engineer. That's not how it is. Everybody who doesn't have anything else to do is an engineer That's how it is. I I don't make the rules, but them's the rules I mean, I do make the rules and those are my rules. Oh, looks like our power production right now really sucks Yeah, these are halfway only mm, That's a shame That is a shame these two, yeah, these are halfway, and this one is 15%. Wow. Well, that's okay. We'll get our power back, and then the battery can charge up slowly but surely. Let's let's hope so. How's our uh, how's our water? Have we collected any water so far? Oh, we have six water. You'll love to see it. We're gonna need a lot more power, and I'm guessing what we can do is do we have any books left? We could start researching um, biofuel. Let's go fuel generators. And what do we need for this? We need biofuel. 
for which we need two books. Okay, so we need we need new books. Fair enough. All right, we have the books now for biofuel. And oh, advanced biofuel can be done out of a lot of stuff. Then let's let's keep it at biofuel for now. Hemp oil biofuel. Oh, so this is hemp biofuel distillery. Yes, definitely want that. That is the one we want. Uh, do we want to spend on? Oh, that's an ancient science book. I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Upgraded small generators. I will spend the books on that. This is the advanced one. All right. I think uh, I think that's gonna be fine for now. We can get get some biofuel. We can get some hemp biofuel. Of course, we're gonna need more wheat straw and such if we uh, actually want to do stuff. Uh, what I'm thinking right now, since people are, you know, some of them are researching, some of them are doing that. We're gonna need quite some time before things are fully worked out. Cole is the only one researching. Who should be the other one researching? Luna's doing this, Kartoffel is doing this. Oh, he would research after. Yes, yes. Karius is doing this, Giver's doing this. Alright, uh, let's actually grab the Tsuyo gang. And let's do some more fighting out there in the desert, shall we? We haven't done it in a while. I think it's about time. Nagasar, how are you doing? Six hours. We're gonna wait for the six hours so his bounty expires at first, actually. Tsuyo was taking them outside again. They were going to traverse the desert looking for a fight. There were none of them too happy about it. They liked the comfortable life out here and the relative safety of the way station. And while each of them joined for their own particular reason, they had to listen to Tsuyo now. They were his men and women. They were his peasants. They were his fighters. And no matter how much they grumbled around the campfire, in the end, they did what he told them to. Nagastra's bounty has finally expired. The tech hunters are no longer completely and utterly mad at him, which is great. So, it is time we go out there again, find some worthy opponents, fight some worthy opponents, uh, while the boys over here work on their stuff and continue improving our way station. The morning dawns and we have found ourselves another group of sand ninjas. This one is smaller. This one, we have a chance. This one, we're going for. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Get them, boys. Attack all. Let's get the sand ninjas. Wow, look at look at all the rangers shooting their own people. <laughs> you love to see it. Fat Sang is up here. Let's get him, buddy. So we'll let's pop him over here. Still a lot of red. But, okay, more of the rangers are now going into melee, as they have been attacked. That's fine. Nobody has gone down yet. Not even Steve. Not even Steve. Tempo is having some issues maybe out there, but not so much. He has to deal in damage once again. Let's see how he's out here in the middle of the fray. People are still up and running. Nobody's down. Look at the rangers going for this hiver. Oh, Ganu went down. Alright, Gnu has been hit by this dude, apparently. The ninja in not quite pajamas. Hitome going down as well over here, fighting next to Steve. Tempo going down. Our three newest recruits have been wrecked. You know what? It might be a, a thing that these guys do not actually have ranged weapons, and that's, that's why that might have happened. So the last ninja is still standing, and they actually have a prosthetic arm over here. We might want to uh, take a look at that one. Maybe take it. Steve is still up, which is awesome. Uh, we're not gonna have any recovery comas. And we have won properly against Sand Ninjas this time around, boys. Sure, there were not so many of them, but we have won! Let's take that victory. It's our victory. Be proud of it. Be proud of it, boys. You have done an amazing job. Tsuyo might be proud of his peasants for once. Don't let him get up, boys. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Don't let them get up. We need to we need to take their stuff. Any high grade clothing we are taking from them. It's now ours. Oh, this guy's trying to get up. Point blank him, Zoya. Perfect. Hey, stop shooting Steve. Oh. Oh well. You see. They've got reinforcements. Get them, boys. Get the reinforcements. 
Oh, well, Steve's down. Fair. God, look at these guys shooting each other in the back. <laughs> I think you've just shot Tsuyo twice. Stop that. The reinforcements have arrived. Can we defeat the reinforcements as well? Now it's, uh, it's starting to get a bit more sketchy. Tsuyo focus on this guy over here, right in front, who's trying to shoot Nagastra in the, in the face. Or hit Nagastra in the face. They have reinforcements from behind, or are these guys the ones we already took down? These are the guys we already took down. Okay, they're trying to get back up. Fair enough, I see more red now. More people down. Zoya and Hitomi are down. Slowline, Grandma, Fat Seng, Edonios, Bianlan. People are dropping and I have a phone call. Not now! Alright, phone call dealt with. Now, can we deal with these ninjas as well? It's not looking too good for us right now. Let's be real, the reinforcements were quite on time, in time. And, uh, yeah. Not looking so good. So two years... Another group? How... <laughs> How many? How many? Oh, man. Okay, we can defeat one group of you. We could maybe defeat the second group. But the third one? Now that's bullshit. Now that's actual bullshit. Fuck off, Sand Ninjas. Ah, oh, Seriously? Now that's just obnoxious. How's Tuya doing? He's been shot many a time. He needs to pull these fuckers out. Sagara and Nagastra are still fighting. Cole is trying to get it back up. This is now cheating, Sandin. Just this is now absolute cheating. Okay, this guy has to go down. Look at look at him. Stop shooting Tuya. Come on. Oh Tuya, you, you you didn't shoot him in the stomach where you should have. The guy's actually pretty good at shooting. They are using our own technique against us. I don't like that. Come on. Two, oh, man, just stomach hit. Just hit him in the stomach. He's shooting you in the head. Sable was fighting still. This is this is not getting well. I think some of the sand ninjas did run towards the dark reavers, which is great. And these guys are kind of leaving us over here. Mostly. They mostly come at night, mostly. Um, yeah, you didn't see him. Let him be. I want to get to Steve. Shay, you stay down. No, no, Tuyo, Tuyo, hold over here. We need to get to Steve, but we need to have these guys go out first. They're still healing their friends. The friends will be getting up. Shay, why? Why? Why do you not stay the fuck down? Damn it. Do you not see like a million sand ninjas over here? Like, are, are you are you all morons or something like that? Stay down. Just stay down. Do not fight or whatever the fuck you're trying to do. Just stay down. No, not getting up, Sable. Not. I said stay down. No. <laughs> what are you doing? They were actually playing dead for a second and they decided, you know what? How about we get up? How about we do that? That seems like a great idea. Shay, go... You know what? If you're all just going up and just standing up, be useful. Go repair there. You know? Just, just, do, just do that. Steve is minus 91 now. Not very good. Two is still being chased by this one fucking moron over here. Goddamn ninja. Fine. Let's take him out. You hit him once in the chest, he's down. Alright? That's all you need to do. Hit him once in the chest. Perfect. Let's go back here. Stealth. And let's repair this stupid thing. Oh, we do have... Shay here. Nice. Shay's here, but Shay's gonna be attacked very, very soon. Dude, stop getting spotted. You have to fix this, this stupid Steve. He's always getting himself killed. Come on. You got this. Minus 106. No worries there. How's Shay doing? Shay is just fine. Just fine. Two has been spotted. This guy is trying to go after him. I'm gonna take your other arm off if you do this. Alright, but we're getting the repairs going. Which is great. I don't want to shoot this guy. Because then the others are gonna come back and try to heal him. I really prefer not to do that. Like, I would really prefer not to do that, dude. 
If you if you really insist, we will shoot you. There you fucking go. Alright. Now, are the others coming back to get him? No, they're not. <sighs> Alright, fix him. Okay, you guys can all go off of hold and passive now. People have been healed. We might have some recovery comas going around. It happens, even to the best of us. But Steve is fine, and that's really all that matters over here. Let's be real. We have totally defeated those sand ninjas, but they used cheats and spawned two more squads. And Manhunter's really not the thing I want to see right now. So let's quickly start picking up people. We do not quite have enough people to carry you. All the people. Oh, there, never mind. Cigar is just getting up. Perfect. Unfortunately, Nagasra and Cigar both have their legs destroyed, so it's gonna be a bit hard for them to actually walk. Steal their clothing. Actually, that's standard rate. Nobody cares about standard rate. Alright, everybody's ready to walk at the speed of light. Uh, okay, some people might not be that fast. But we are fine. See? We are just fine. This is not an issue at all. We're good. Absolutely good. We're slowly coming closer to the grass pirate camp over here. They seem to have some issues with the dogs. Not the dongs, the dogs. But we'll gladly uh, put their camp to good use. Because, well, we kind of have to. Even we have to maybe take down some of these dogs. Since there's not that many of them, we can have two or maybe deal with that. We'll see even if they go for us. I just want to go and drop our people in here. So they can heal up. And maybe even start walking a bit faster. Oh, the dogs are fine. 123 damage there. You can see how much damage they would do to us. Oh, these guys are sleeping out here. Grass pirates, I'm sorry. But we want to take these for ourselves. And you're going to be attacked by a dog very soon. Which means we're probably going to get attacked by a dog soon. I don't necessarily want that. Now let's, let's pull away. Let's all put away. Let's see if the dogs decide to run away after. No, as expected. So you put down whoever you're carrying. This one's on you. The rest of you, just do a bit of a circle. So you shoot dogs. Shoot the other dog as well. Good shot, good shot. All right, you don't get any ideas. Put people into beds. So you these ones are on you. All the people are trying to come and help. There's really no need. But you know what? If you want to, might as well. You're probably going to get wrecked. But, I mean, there's already people limping. Hey! Stay in the goddamn beds like I told you, you fools. It's enough. That is enough. Look at the damage this thing's doing to Steve. But Steve prevails, as it should be. Alright, well, there's the... There's more dogs. Of course, there is always more dogs. Not even a question. Shay is gonna get absolutely fucked by that one over there. Go get him, Steve. Steve, did Steve just do 50 damage? Steve did 50 damage to that thing. Before getting uh, absolutely destroyed, as presumed. So you keep on shooting that dog. Sable's coming. Nice hit there, Sable. Is there more dogs? There is even more dogs out here. Stop that. More people are getting wrecked by those dogs. I'm gonna have to loot them, for sure. No, Beyond Line's going over here. Good hit, buddy. Good hit. Now, heal. Tuyo, stop shooting. Maybe not stop shooting. Shoot that grass pirate. That's a good idea. Definitely shoot that grass pirate. There's always more grass pirates. Stop shooting Zoya in the back. Stop shooting to you in the back. Can we please do that, boys? I will look in over here on Tampa and Grandma. Yeah. You would you would presume that these will definitely destroy them. Oh, that guy got sniped. Now go heal. Oh, Steve. Not very good. Zoritobo is actually going to be fine. Jan, you are allowed to heal. Or repair. Or do whatever the fuck you want. Pirates, stop trying to make it happen. It's not going to happen. It's not gonna happen. Shoot him to you. Or fight him in melee. That's fine. Shay, you can come help now. You can come help now. 
So I'm, I'm keeping two in melee. I need him to uh, get hurt a bit as well in melee. He's He's been just practicing his range weaponry. He needs to start practicing his melee a bit as well. Or, you know, shoot him point blank. While getting hit constantly. Because he can't block that way. Very smart. There you go. Well played. Good job, you two. Back at the way station, we have Luna almost at 60 armor smith, which means she's been critting and creating high grade Rattan helmets now. You'd love to see it. In fact, we should probably, you know, keep with the tradition of Rattan hats for everybody and switch these for the peoples. Wouldn't you agree that that would only be uh, appropriate? Give her. You want the, the hat as well? There you go. It has been done. And I can't stack these because I'm full. Uh, these staves are going to have to be sold. That's fine. How are we doing on water? Let's see. In here we have 28 water, which is pretty decent. We now actually have the ability to create hydroponics. You know, we have hydroponic wheat straw. Is the one we can do. And I would love to do it down in this here house. Oh, our first hydroponic, boys. We got it. We done it. Makes me very happy. We're gonna need 10 wheat straw, 4 iron plates, and 2 electrical components. Iron plates might be an issue right now. The rest we should have. We might not actually have the full on wheat straw. Did we, did we buy enough? No, we do have exactly 10 wheat straw. There it is, boys. Wheat straw has been complete. Now, who amongst you out here uh, wants to actually deal with us right now? Uh, maybe we're gonna put carious on just putting water in here for now since yeah let's just put carious carious you can you can farm this put some water in it and ladies and gentlemen we're gonna have some weed growing we're gonna be able to make some of our own food over here ain't that a glorious thing more dogs boys more dogs don't everybody get up that was not necessary I can already see somebody getting hurt very badly because of this. Oh, Tempo's found another dog. How do you speed these dogs out here? Tempo also found his recovery coma, most likely. Jesus, these dogs. Oh, I think Tsuyo... I think Tsuyo actually shot the grass pirate there. No, 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 no. No, 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 Turn around. These dogs are gonna be an issue. Maybe not. Maybe they're not going to be an issue? I kind of doubt that. We're definitely looting these, though. Now, oh, here we go again. I hate when game will have you fight or they will attack the people lying on the ground. That is just rude, to say the least. That is just rude. Oh, Jesus, Steve. Steve's going to have some issues. So, you please walk... Oh, work on a dog. That's what I wanted to say, but... The dog has been worked over. That's decent. Well played. We're bringing more meat back. So this is good. I think everybody is out of recovery coma now. Yes. Everybody is out of recovery coma now. Even Steve is fine. Good. Boys, let's wake up. I think it's about time we go home. Because out here, we're just constantly getting attacked and attacked and attacked. No, that's good. And there's man hunters out there in the distance. And there is slave traders out here in the distance. Yeah, let's 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 get a move on, boys. Boys, we are home. We are home indeed. All right, everybody, go do your jobs. So you all go down, Steve. You can do your jobs. Sagara, I already see you don't have a job. So you know what? We're gonna give you a job. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. And who did we give this to you? Yeah, let's, let's kick that. There you go. You can put more water in here, Sagara. Went to bed. But you... How about we take some water, right? You take these waters and you stack them in here so you don't have to constantly run around. And Kartoffel, you don't need to do the water tank duty because Tempo is back and he can do the water tank duty. Perfect. We gonna really need to build some more beds so people can actually sleep and rest. But you know, I guess Nagasra is taking this one. He's he's used to sleeping in here for sure. Oh, you know what we are gonna do? We're gonna start upgrading people's uh, 
Rattan hats. Like, even Tsuyo has a standard grade one. Yeah, let's get rid of that. So, to upgrade these moisture collectors, it's gonna cost us even more power, which, once again, we're not producing enough. These ones do not have enough power. How about these ones up top? Yeah, 60%. We're gonna need more, more power. But I think we can upgrade these. Copper alloy plate, electric component, two steel bar. Upgrade. Upgrade. And we do have resources in here. So we need... We need what? Four steel bars. We need two of these. Electric components. Well, we have a plenty. There you go. Both of these have been built. They're using more power now, which means we are draining power again. Which means battery charge that we actually got up a bit. It's going down. Yeah, fuel. Fuel would be the biggest thing over here. Of course, we need power to produce power. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a problem. Uh, maybe we'll see if we can build some more of these small wind generators. Let's see what do we need for those. Um, four electric components and seven iron plates. Iron plates is going to be rough because we used a lot. But if you can do a couple more over here, even though you only get like 60%, it's going to stack up. So let's do two. We don't have quite enough of these. Throw down on the ground over here. One, then we do have enough of these, and we can we can build these as well. It's gonna be great. And well, this thing is growing slowly. One day we'll have plenty of wheat straw. That day is not today, but one day we will. One day this is gonna be a, gonna be a hydroponic heaven. There you go. Both of these have been built. Slow line have been stuck. Uh, carriers have been kind of stuck. Carriers, go pick up slow line. He's having issues. Oh, yes. Battery charge is now going up. Car Where's Car Carriers, a couple of times I clicked on you to go here. What the fuck are you doing? Fine, we'll take... Can you not go into the house suddenly? What is going on? Game? What the fuck is going on again? Oh, slow line is now fine. Well, there you go. All right. He's fine, slow line, you're good. No worries whatsoever. These peasants did a decent enough job fighting the said ninjas today. They actually managed to defeat one group. Of course, the reinforcements were too much, and Suyo had to once again take things into his own hands. He was pretty sure that all of his peasants would die on their own if it wasn't for him taking care of them, feeding them, clothing them, giving them weapons and direction, making them safe. Yet still, for some damn reason, he could hear them grumble sometimes, even complain. He was pretty sure most of them were just lazy, good for nothing. They would want to get paid and taken care of and give nothing in return. But that is not how things work under Tsuyo. You get what you are worth. And if you think that complaining and grumbling is gonna get you something more, well, then you are mistaken. <laughs> <laughs>